Hello again, folks. I'm King Blacktooth, and the Red Parry is indeed in Ultra Street Fighter 4. I don't know how I feel about it, but because of the announcement, I have decided to try and mod my own version to sort of test it out in certain situations, because I can't wait. And there are some information gaps, some bits of information we don't currently know, such as the input method, how much meter it will probably take, what sort of level 1, 2, 3 system it has. So does it follow the previous focus attack? Like level 1 is a hit, but nothing happens. Level 2 is a hit and crumple. Level 3 is an unblockable crumple. Does it follow that or does it go straight to 1 to 3? We don't know. So also some of the matchups, people have been speculating, oh, it will destroy this, it will destroy that. So I thought I'd have a little go at trying to figure out what it would be really good against, what it's not good against, just from my mod obviously it's not perfect but we'll see how it goes okay so to begin with the normal parry is about this sort of length now in the video they looked about the same but there were rumors that the level 2 was unblockable so I made it faster I don't know if that's true and my inputs are heavy kick and medium punch together okay so some people speculate that's not a good choice but it's unblockable when you reach the end which is faster so it's kind of like level 2 Anything before the end is a level 1 hit, so no crumple and a bit unsafe, so you best backdash. Basically, it's all or nothing. You've got to hit them with the maximum to get the crumple, otherwise you're at a little bit of a disadvantage. And I've only put three hits of armor on it. I don't actually know how many hits of armor it's going to have. You know, unlimited seems a bit weird, so I put three on, so four hitting moves will get through it. Now, people speculated that Bison scissor kicks would just be dominated, but because you have to hold it to the maximum length that I put in anyway, I don't know if that's true, then it does kind of work because you don't get massive punish if he does it nice spacing and stuff like that, or if you do it too late. But if you do it too early, you waste two meters because it takes two meters to do this move no matter what. But if you're in the corner like this, you can try and anticipate that and punish it, obviously. And uh, at close range like that, it's a little easier to punish, especially when you know the block string. So Bison could do some armor breaking like Psycho Crushers. The problem is a lot of characters' armor breaking moves are a bit unsafe and it kind of makes it dangerous because I don't think you'd be able to react to a red focus very easily because you have to kind of distinguish it from a normal focus. So Kami's sort of vortex pressure, I had, I had a lot of problem actually getting a a red focus to come out on wake up it, it did seem pretty difficult to do now again because it's all or nothing when I did actually manage to get it out on wake up against Kami for example she was able to complete her block string and get through three pieces of armor before it charged up now as I've said I think mine's faster than the actual one so I don't think, you know, spamming on the punches and stuff, I think that will still work if it's, you know, all or nothing sort of system. Now, if you do try and backdash or something like that, then it seems like you still get hurt. Now, some people speculated that it will be, you know, it will eliminate Adon's armor breaking, standing heavy kick and stuff like that. But I don't think you're going to waste two meters to anticipate a standing heavy kick footsie. It's just a really weird choice. Maybe some people will do it, but I don't think you'll see it very often, you know, because that's a lot of meter to use. So Sea Viper's got her own sort of wake up mix up, and this seems actually quite a lot easier to block. Now she can mix it up a bit and try and stick in one of her thunder knuckles, um, but at the minute that looks pretty easier to block now. And against Akuma's Vortex, the the demon flip palm or the demon flip grab mainly is not helpful at all because it'll go through the grab and it'll, the palm is an armor breaker so it doesn't help against that so it doesn't work against a lot well some vortexes and it's hard to do on other vortexes especially on meaty attacks so the red focus is an interesting design choice it is hard to say how it's going to play out in the end it does seem like some characters might be able to utilize it more than others so Korra, for example, her sure you can move is a multiple hitting move. The heavier versions have more than four hits, so it will break a red focus if you try to do it on that. And her armor breaking tatsus are part of her bread and butter all the time, so she'll be using them all the time. So she'll be able to break them easily. And on the flip side, she has a really good focus attack. It's long range and 
so she will benefit from using it herself. Um, so that's pretty decent. So she'll really benefit from this sort of red parry focus attack thing. Whereas other characters, such as Balrog, he's got a pretty short range on his focus attacks, unless they give him different animations with different reach for the red and the normal, which I doubt, then he's not really going to catch many people with it, and his armor-breaking things are punishable on block, you know, and you probably see them coming, because his overhead one, you have enough time to backdash. They will have wasted two meters if, it's, if it uses the meter straight away. Then, so, you know... It's not so good for him. Dudley you could probably throw out a machine gun blow, light punch to make it safe. And that probably has more than four hits on it, which is nice. Uh, Honda can do his 100 hand slaps or his headbutt. Chun Li. Spinning bird kick is probably unfeasible, really. Um, it might be able to go into it or, uh, or EX legs. Goken's got a palm strike, which really only counts for the light punch version because. If you're trying to get, you've got to sort of already go into the combo of standing medium kick, light punch palm. If you do a, a bigger bread butter combo than that, your light punch palm is going to whiff unless they change it. And your EX Tatsu, quite risky. I mean, you'll probably get them because if you think about it the other side, if they commit to a red focus, they waste two meter, if it's two meter, then they're probably not just going to dash out of it without a worry. They'll probably want to commit to it if they wasted two meters to try and get you. So maybe you can go for more dangerous things because they're less likely to dash out and waste the meter completely. They're less likely to want to dash out anyway. So it just seems like some characters' moves are not as viable at throwing out break focus attacks. I, I find not many people break focus attacks with armor-breaking moves unless they're already using them, basically. Okay, Evil Ryu you could probably do... His axe kick, that is armor breaking, so he'll probably do it all the time. He, he'll be able to break him, no problem. So in closing, there's still a lot of information we don't know, but I imagine there's going to be a meta game developing around the red focus attack. When you're in sort of a clutchy situation, someone's pressuring you which where with less than three hits or no armor breakers, then you could probably do a red focus. And the meta game revolves around your opponent should be looking for you to do a red focus when you've got the meter, whatever the requirement is, and try and stick in some more armor breaking moves if it's possible. Some characters have pretty unfeasible armor breaking moves, or I guess just be ready to to switch to an armor breaking move while you're doing a bread and butter. You know, just watch out for it because you can't keep track of everything. But the meta game should be that you should be paying attention to that towards the end of matches and stuff. Probably. Thanks for listening and discuss. What do you think? of the red parry so far.